Welcome back to Chrissy Chats. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for clicking on my video because you could have clicked on any other video that you've seen in front of mine or under mine. So thank you. If you have not already, like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate you helping me grow my channel. I would love to see you stick around and comment regularly on my videos as I post them. So today, I just wanted to kind of reflect. So I will be turning 30 in about 20 days. And I'm so excited for this next chapter of my life. Um, 30, everybody like that I went to school with, they're freak, everybody's freaking out. Oh my God, we're turning 30. Oh, I can't even say it. Like, yo, we're turning 30. Like, I just want everybody to understand that you're you're just getting better. Like we're not getting older. We're getting better. Like the my thirties about to be like <laughs> he about to be lit. I don't care what I say. Um, my twenties were good and bad to me. My thirties are gonna be magnificent to me, and I'm gonna make sure of it because I am more sure who I am now, and I know that that's gonna help me with that. So. I wanted to, um, at first I wanted to do 20 things I learned in my 20s, but I just felt like that was a lot because there's so many, so many things. Like I could just go completely left. So I just wanted to stick to 10. So I'm just going to kind of like, you know, share with y'all 10 things that I learned in my 20s. Also, if you haven't already, just go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel because i told you this before but maybe you forgot in the last minute or so go ahead i'll wait done great all right so the first thing um as i wrote down and i'm looking down at my notebook so um well not a, it's a journal my friend bought me this really cute journal last christmas um it's a thoughtful journal. You put your goals in it, mindful thinking, self-development, reflection, gratitude. And there's a page that just says just thinking. So that's what I wrote. And the page next to it is like, you can plan out your week. Like, what do you intend on doing? What do you hope to do? Um, what, did we, what were the week's highs and lows? Anyway, so the first thing I wrote was, it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not be okay. Everybody goes through so much. We all go through so much. It's okay. You don't and you don't even have to admit it to the world. You don't have to get on your social media and tell anybody that you're not okay. You could just, you know, acknowledge it for yourself and do what is necessary for you to be okay. What that means is, okay, so I know I'm not okay. Why am I not okay, right? So you just kind of figure it out. Figure out what's making you feel the way you're feeling and then go from there. Look at ways that maybe can help you come out of feeling the way you're feeling. Okay, so that's the first thing. The next thing I learned in my 20s was that we all have some sort of trauma. Child, um, I just feel like, I feel like God willing, if I make it to 45, I'm going to write my life story. Because I have some trauma that I've never even um, admitted to um, certain people that mean something to me um, that people wouldn't even believe. Like, my goodness. If you know, people say, thank God I don't look like what I've been through because, chap. <laughs> okay. Um, so, the next thing I learned in my 20s, but that my 20s was my learn is the learning decade. So, you know, you're a child, you go to teenage, you, you have that transition into being a teenager. While you're a teenager, everybody wants you to transition into being a young adult and ha trying to figure out who you are. And granted, I knew early on, like in high school, like what I wanted to do. Like I was a very like specific um, type of person and I did exactly what I wanted to do in my 20s in regards to like um, goals that I set for myself, like graduating college um waiting till I was married to have children those are my specific goals nothing that anybody um anybody put on me it was more so like I knew I kind of knew myself like I knew that you know I wanted to enjoy um my freedom without children and stuff so like that was what I said for me 
Um, so I did a lot of learning. Um, a lot of learning. A lot of things have happened in my 20s. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to still be here. Um, there's so many losses, so many gains, so many transitions, and I'm grateful for it all. Every bit of it. Um, I learned in my 20s to go for what you want. Go for what you want. Like, go for it. Like, people tell you no all the time, right? And, okay, go for it. So, that one leads into my next um, thing that I learned in my 20s is the worst thing that somebody can say to you is no. Not this time. Maybe next time. Oh, we're not quite looking for that right now. Right? That's the worst somebody can do. I, f I feel like the reason why I say go for what you want and the worst thing that people can say to you is no is because I always tell people I'd rather try and fail than to never try and then be like, dang, I never got a chance to do that because I was this or I felt this way or I was scared or whatever. I don't never want to say I didn't do something because I was scared. Like, I want to try it. Now, there are certain things I probably won't try, like uh, zip lining. I tried to do that in, in Costa Rica. That didn't work out so well. <laughs> but out of my fear of falling. So, but other than that, go for what you want. The worst that somebody could say is no. I currently work in a position that when I first applied for it at another company, I did an interview and everything. They never called me back. I changed my name because I got married. I reapplied for the same position. Mind you, I didn't even qualify for the position. They wanted somebody with a particular kind of degree, this, that, and the third. I did not qualify for this position. I didn't qualify, y'all. I was like, I'm just going to do it. If I get in, I get my foot in the door. I got my foot in the door. Because now I work in the field with a better company. I went from that, that first company that eventually gave me a shot on the second time I applied and the second time I interviewed. And I was able to do so many things from there. Like, there's so many things that um, kind of snowballed from from that one chance of me to be like, <laughs> like, I'm just going to apply. Like, so when, when I say do it, do apply for those jobs you don't qualify for. You never know. They might make an exception to you. You never know. You never know. Another thing I learned in my 20s is to be vulnerable but be suspicious. Sounds crazy, right? So I say that because being vulnerable means, in a way, being open to seeing what happens, right? Being suspicious mean, meaning keeping your eyes open and your head on a swivel to make sure that things don't harm you in the process of you trying, okay? I say this because, perfect example. So um, before I met my husband, I was online dating. I had met dudes in the club. I had dated dudes from my old town. I had dated dudes from school. Look, wasn't working, right? I was like, let me try online dating. So I signed up for a site. Um, and, you know, I just talked to a few guys. Some gave red flags within like a day of talking. Um, there was a few that I actually went out on dates with. They were pretty cool, but it didn't go anywhere. I met um, a friend of mine on there as well. Um he's really cool initially he wasn't even on there um to find like trying to date anyway he was on there trying to find um just um people in the area that he could hang out with because he was new to the area so we got pretty cool all right so i was really about to delete my profile and i'm not deleting it met my husband here we are six years later so i was um I was vulnerable to like being open to trying this new thing, but those people that gave me red flags, I never spoke to them again. From the beginning, I never even gave them my real number. I was giving them the text free app number. Y'all remember the text free app. <laughs> so be vulnerable, but be suspicious. Next thing I learned in my 20s was to invest. When I mean invest, it's not just we're not just talking about money, invest in yourself. Invest in businesses, invest in your education, invest in your relationships. Um, you never know where it's going to go um, and how it will help you and take you to another another level. You never know. So 
invest, whether it be time, whether it be money, whether it be um, a resource that you can provide, whether it could be um, investing like your energy, period. Investing in energy. You never, you never know. Okay, so invest. Um, another thing I learned in my 20s, do your research. Do your research on things that are presented to you. Do your research on anything you could possibly do your research on. Um, this, we're talking about do your research on companies. Do your research on stocks. If you re do your research on businesses that people are presenting to you or to buy from you. Do your research. Do your research on some people that may be moving funny. You never know what you're going to find. Um, uh, another thing I learned was to take reasonable chances. So again, being vulnerable, being suspicious, like take the, take a reasonable risk, right? Reasonable chances. Like, all right, what's the worst that's going to happen in this scenario? Okay. And what's the best in this scenario? Because you don't want to do something that's really just going to be completely detrimental to your mental, physical, emotional health. You don't want to do it. So, reasonable. Reasonable. Again, back to my other life lesson. The worst that can happen is they say no. <laughs> like, but you won't have any regrets in not doing it. You might regret doing it because it might turn out crappy. But you have that experience and you can learn from it. So, it's not all bad. Um, and the very last thing, which I feel like it just ties all of this stuff in, is to be true to yourself. Man, be true to yourself. Um, you can't sacrifice you for other people or other things. You can't do it. And in the end, it's not good for you because... When people you you seen um you seen or been in situations where people be like oh I lost myself and that's what that is when you sacrifice yourself to benefit somebody else or try and benefit the situation that you're in it it it's it's no good uh, um for example being in a relationship right um I was in a, a relationship where I felt like I sacrificed myself I did things that I wouldn't normally do. Um, went into the head spaces that I usually I normally wouldn't head into. Um, and ultimately, like once it was over and I, I was able to talk it out with my friends, I realized like, I really get like, I was, I never did that before. Like, and it's funny because those things that I sacrificed, I don't do them. Like I haven't sacrificed, um, I haven't sacrificed like in that like I did in that relationship with my current one and my current one is way further than that one. So again, don't like, don't sacrifice, don't compromise who you are as an individual or as a person, morally, ethically, whatever. Don't do that for somebody else or another opportunity because you may just end up feeling like, wow, why did I do that? Or feeling really bad or drained or just not yourself. And how can you truly function not being you, right? Granted, there's some sometimes you gotta tweak some things. Um, you, I would say you know submit to some things. Not saying someone, but certain things you gotta. All right, I usually do it this way, but let me try a different way, and it may work. But it's not. That's not always the case. So don't sacrifice yourself for anybody else. Just continue to be true to you. Be true to you and tweak things that make you feel good, not make other people feel good. So, yeah, I just wanted to reflect. I can't believe I'm going to be 30. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Um, I tell people all the time, there's people that I went to school with that didn't even make it to 30, didn't even make it to 21, didn't make it to 25. So, to to know that I'm, I'm staring at... I'm, I'm staring at time moving forward to me be able to see 30. I'm so grateful. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope you come back and watch my videos. If you haven't already, check out some of my videos. Check out um, some of my videos from my 12 days of Christmas. And um, I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.